Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, I'll let you know that the August Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 24H2, KB5063878, is reportedly breaking some SSDs. And as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked, there have been widespread reports that the update is causing significant performance degradation and other issues on SSDs. And it even came to my knowledge after posting that video that some users with mechanical hard drives, HDDs, are also affected. Now I'll check the video out for more info, but I said I'd get back to you when I have more information. And just to let you know that Microsoft has told Bleeping Computer, I'll leave the article linked in the description earlier this week, that it is now aware of reports that installing the security update 5063878 is causing SSD and HDD data corruption and failure issues. And in the statement, Microsoft has said that it couldn't reproduce the issue on up-to-date Windows 11 24H2 systems and is now attempting to collect user reports with additional information from those affected. Now, Microsoft has this officially to say, and I'm quoting, we are actively working with our storage device partners to try to reproduce the issue. At the time of this publication, neither internal testing nor telemetry have identified an increase in disk failure or file corruption. Microsoft carries on to say, in addition, Microsoft customer support teams have received reports of customers experiencing this issue. If you are experiencing this issue, please contact support for business or use the feedback hub to file a report. And I do suggest that if you are facing the issue, send the feedback back to Microsoft so this issue can get resolved sooner than later. Now, over and above the list I provided in my previous video, check it out if you'd like some more info of affected SSDs, users now have broadened the potentially faulty SSD list to include the following. So you can just pause the video at the relevant timestamp. And Microsoft says that it's also investigating if this issue is Microsoft's fault and has promised to provide an update when more details are available. So basically, at the end of the day, where we are standing now, it remains unclear whether the fault lies within Windows itself or a deeper hardware level interaction. And as mentioned, Microsoft has promised further updates once investigations progress. But get your feedback back to Microsoft so we can get this issue solved once and for all. And obviously, as soon as I get any more info in regards to this issue, I'll post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.